As normal, you would insert your Varox with oxalic and block the entrance with foam. You then connect your Varox or have your Varox connected to your timer. Connect the timer to the battery. It will run through a test sequence of the lights. It will bring on the red LED and that's your signal to leave to a safe distance. When you're standing at a safe distance away, there's no chance whatsoever of you getting a whiff of oxalic acid. And if anything goes wrong, you'll be a long way away. The timer will handle everything from here on out. The red LED is very visible, but I'll zoom in just to make things easier to see. After the red LED has been on for two and a half minutes, the battery will then be disconnected from the Varox and a blue LED will come on showing you're now in the cooling period. The cooling period lasts approximately five minutes. It needs that amount of time to be safe that all the oxalic acid vapour has now condensed and is no longer a danger to the user. So we wait until we get the blue light we then wait for a further five minutes until we see the green light. So the blue light is on at this point. We now wait for the green. green light comes on and we're safe to walk in and disconnect everything and remove the Varox from the hive. Also we can remove the foam obviously and get ready to move to our next hive. After having done 13 hives the voltage on the battery is still 12.76 volts which shows that it's got plenty of life in it to go on and do another 13 possibly. So you've also saved on the amount of energy you've drawn from the battery by getting your timings exact.